happens when your body or your mind is in a continuous state of stress? In your body, it immediately affects your breath. Your breath becomes short and shallow. Your muscles start to tighten up. Your um, fatigue increases. You'll be in a constant state of tiredness which affects your sleep. You would either sleep too much or you would not sleep well. Right? And your blood pressure increases, your nervous system, nervous system gets affected pretty bad because there is only one part of nervous system which is all fired up and hyperactive and the other parts will be sleeping because of stress. Over a period of time because of this there will be hormonal changes, a constant push of adrenaline in your system because of stress reduces all the feel-good hormones like serotonin, dopamine and oxytocin, right? And when all of these feel-good hormones drop down, then comes your anxiety, then comes your depression. So, to avoid all of that, what can we do? How can we help ourselves to reduce this? Let's see what yoga says in terms of stress. Yoga works with your body, breath and mind. So it's like a one-stop solution for stress, right? There is pranayama for your breath, there is meditation for your mind and there is asana for your body, breath and mind. Okay? So what yoga essentially does is, starting with asanas, any movement for that matter helps in increasing endorphins. You might have heard Thousands of people say this, right? If you are feeling sad, exercise. If you are feeling depressed, exercise. Exercise helps release feel-good hormones and feel-good chemicals on the body. So, yoga, considering it the physical bit of yoga, is movement and it helps in increasing feel-good hormones, which is the quick fix. Alright? Then, it helps us be more in touch with our body, with the movement, while we are practicing. And the more we are present in the now, in the present, a lot of our worries of the past and the future, which is the main cause of stress, right? That reduces. And practicing for however you, however long you can on the mat, slowly starts to expand over your day. That's why a lot of times when you have a really good practice you feel that your whole day is going well. Right? So continuously doing that changes the chemical imbalance in the body which over a period of time helps in sustainably reducing your stress. That is what asanas would do. Asanas also help in increasing or um, clearing your breathing pathways like there are different accessory muscles that are used when we breathe it's not just the lungs right for the lungs to move there's diaphragm that comes into picture there are intercostals that comes into picture and as well as your abdomen if your abdomen is tight you can't breathe you can't breathe properly if your neck is tight your shoulders are tight all of this comes into picture when you're breathing like let's do this together right just place your hands, one on your stomach, one on your chest. Take long deep breaths and observe the different parts of your body that move when you breathe. There's stomach of course and there's chest of course. Your collarbone region, clavicular region. The sides. and back. It's like your entire torso expands and contracts. To keep all these muscles supple, asanas play a huge role. Now let's see what asanas would help in reducing stress. Watch out for part 2. See you in the next video. Bye.